<laughs> these same banks, by the way, yeah. donate overwhelmingly to Democrats. The myth of the big bank, the fat cat Wall Street banker, right? Republican. That's it. Couldn't be no. further from the truth. Certainly in the modern era. Maybe once upon a time, not anymore. So let's look at hedge fund managers. You have Sussman, Snyder, uh, Eichner donated seventy million each to Democrats from 2008 to the 2018 midterms. 2020, Wall Street backed Biden to Trump 74 million to 18 million. Hmm. Uh, Biden has had multiple aides, uh, ties to BlackRock, a venture capital firm, Firm Revolution, a consulting firm, Precision Strategies. These are the biggest companies that exist in the world, right? Too big to fail. And the current yeah. Secretary of State, Anthony Blinken, founded the consulting firm West Exec, which is, um, or I guess they should say they formally employed also Jen Psaki, CIA Deputy Director David Cohen, Director of the National Intelligence Avril Haines. So in other words, it's this unholy alliance yeah. of shit heels across the board. You have people who have worked in these companies' hedge funds, right, who give overwhelmingly to Democrats, who have worked with these banks. Then they get appointed to unelected roles in government. And sometimes that even involves roles in your intelligence committees. Yeah. The CIA, the FBI, think about that for a second. Think of the path from working for a company that gives $74 million to a politician and follow that little trail, right? Like follow the asshole trail, the back of a kid's placemat, and you end up, say, deputy director. Yeah, absolutely. Well, the most surprising stat that you said in there was that Wall Street backed Biden to Trump, and the number was 74 to 18. The economy was booming under Donald Trump. If anything, they should have been like, we're rolling in the dough. The, Trump has basically got like the Dow's at 30,000. The Dow's at 30. He's got these like placards thrown in the bathroom because he doesn't have room for them anymore for yeah. the records he was setting. And they're backing. There, do, there's do you no know why? explanation for that other than they want special treatment. Well, not only special treatment, liberals. I can tell you why. The market goes up. Right, the market overall has been going up under Biden, if you look at it overall as a whole. You have bad days, uh, and uh, you can argue about the rate of climb, but the government wins out over time. Uh, sorry, the, the, the market wins out over time. No, you said it right the first time. Yeah, the government wins out over time. <laughs> but the market wins out over time. The problem is with Donald Trump, unlike with Joe Biden. Look, is anyone buying this shit when they say the economy is You know it's not. I know it's not. They tried to say, keep in mind, under Jimmy Carter and under Barack Obama, they tried to gaslight you and say, no, no, the economy is great. Everyone knew that it wasn't the case. You would even have the biggest attractors of Donald Trump saying, well, what's the economy worth when you have someone who brings shame to us on an international stage? The reason why the market wins out, the banks will do fine no matter what. It's that the average American was doing better. Yeah. The banks could be doing better if the average Americans were doing slightly worse. The banks could be, even though they're making tons of money, hand over fist, billions of dollars going to yeah. these CEOs who, by the way, are glorified managers. They're not actual business owners. They say, but we could make more billions if... We create a permanent class of renters. We could make more billions if the average salary under Donald Trump, the average salary went up like $5,000. I think under Barack Obama, the first was it eight years, it was 1300 Three years of Donald Trump was $5,000. The average American benefited, and the banks and Wall Street benefited also. Right now, Wall Street banks are beneficiaries at your expense. That's the big difference. But here's the thing. Greed cannot harm you from big banks if they don't receive bailouts, if they don't get preferential treatment. The less red tape there is, the harder it is for them to get ahead. Why do you think these giant corporations always support big government policies? Because it eliminates the mom and pop competition. Yeah. Again, is your libertarianism? How is it going to solve this here? And if your answer is go in and just slash up, it's not going to happen. That's not what, that's not what happens with our legislative process. How do you fix it? Libertarianism right now, it's a preventative measure that cannot offer solutions. So let's, we've, we've hit, do you have anything else to add? We have, okay, we have big tech, we have banks. All right, now we can go on to other corporations being an arm of the government. These are sort of what we might say miscellaneous. Uh, you have special interest groups um, like Planned Parenthood, 45 million to back Democrats in the 2020 election. Maybe that explains why in 2019, all but three Democrats voted against the born alive Survivors Protection Act. And that's one of the few bills that is aptly named, just to be clear. Yes, yes, it means what it says. Like the Green New Deal, like, what is that? I don't know what that means. Well, th that's by design. The Born Alive Abortion Survivors Protection Act. Here, I want you to picture what it actually... Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, babies were being born alive, and they were being allowed to die. It wasn't happening in huge numbers, but it was enough if it was more than zero, and uh, Democrats voted against it. Hmm wonder why. All of them. 
all except for three with a conscience. Now we have, we go on to Visa, MasterCard, American Express, who, by the way, have received billions of dollars in bailout money. They're now all going to track gun purchases using a new purchase code, which, by the way, could be provided to the government, considering that private data has been given over to the government by these companies in the past. Let's look at airlines, one of your favorite, mm. one of your favorite businesses, I'm sure. They're beholden to the government after receiving over $54 billion in bailouts, and I think that's even just the most recent round with COVID-19 relief. Hey, hold on a second. Now that we're back in full swing, has, has that been passed on to you? Let's think about it. libertarians, right? The free market. Do you get a bag of peanuts? <laughs> what about the check? What about the check baggage fee? Is, is your air, airline experience now more pleasant or at least as pleasant as it was pre-COVID or does it still suck? Because once the government steps in and says, all right, we're going to give you this money. It comes with strings attached. Guess what? It never gets better. It only gets worse. So let me recap this for you, and I'd like you, you know, comment below if you disagree. I have a lot of libertarian friends, and I agree with the principles of it. I'm just saying that pragmatically it doesn't apply here. What do we have? We have collusion between big tech, and what do I mean? The most powerful companies that have ever existed. You've got Facebook. You've got, sorry, Meta. <sighs> <laughs> Whatever. Like, gonna, like, like, we don't know what that means. So you've got Meta, Twitter, YouTube, uh, Google, Amazon, Apple, right? Okay. We have collusion between them. All the banks, all the big credit card companies, multiple corporations and special interest groups, airlines. Where do you, you're a citizen. Where do you go if you want to live in a free market? Well, just don't be anywhere in big tech. Go create your own. Well, you know, just uh, don't do any banking with big banks. Go create your own. Well, just don't use any of the major credit card companies. Just use cryptocurrency. Yeah, that'll never be regulated if it becomes as powerful as fiat sure. currency. Airlines, go buy a plane. The point is we are at a point where it's not something that you can simply solve through free market alternatives because they've been locked down and that can only happen through the corruption that has taken place between the government and these corporations. And I get it. The irony is not lost on me that we do need some fighters in government to try and roll this back because it cannot simply be solved through the free market at this point. It doesn't exist. Yeah. When you've basically handicapped the entire system, you can't just say, oh, well, the system will correct itself. No, you're the ones running the system. Right. And it's never worked in history before. So... No. But, uh, uh, why, why? Oh, this why? segment is terrible. It's times like these I'm confused how any of these guys have a woman. I oh. know. These morons have nothing to offer a lady. <laughs> well, I wouldn't say nothing. Oh, why is that, Landler? <laughs> well, at least after being with them, they'll make a happy widow. <laughs> oh! <laughs> That's, I don't know why. Oh! Balcony there. <laughs> Especially Gerald. Oh! Wait, what? Check the beneficiary on your All right. I don't know why we installed. I don't know why we installed uh, the, the, the balcony and gave them season tickets. Okay. That was really mean. It, Gerald, it's not true. Well, why don't you cry about it? It's not true. Some people, they just hate for no reason, Gerald. Yeah. Okay. That's what I tell myself. So now 